Who's Tui got? Tim Allen. Yep. Big crowd. Perfect day for football. And Footscray go to the left of screen. Aided by a slight wind advantage. And Wine and Flanagan at the first bounce. Wine, but Greg gets the first kick away to half forward. We're here, Tui. Steve Wallace, one of the veterans. Played a lot of football for a guy that's uh, still mid to uh, late 20s. Here's Atkins, looking for a free, not there. Coleman, who's really resurrected his career as we've uh, taken note of the last two seasons at centre half forward. Yeah, well, that was well done by Greg to uh, take Coleman on to snatch the ball away from him. The bounce is just forward of the centre. Now a chance for Atkins, but he's uh, just let the ball go. It's a critical fumble, wasn't it, Robert? It was, yes. He was away with the footy, but he the was. free kick has now been paid to St Kilda. And the kick goes towards half forward. Chance here for McPherson. He's always strong, Steve McPherson. Wallace, quite composed in a tight situation, and he kicks it to half forward. No mark taken. Could have nearly been grabbed by Charles. Now a chance for St Kilda. Peekins' kick finds Harvey. It was Fletcher, actually, found Harvey. Harvey's kicking towards the centre. St Kilda Mark certainly no talking there. And now Footscray will get clear. Grant off the left foot. No, he hits Morris quite accurately as though he may have been his teammate. And Morris for St Kilda Marks at half back. Short to Flanagan. Tame first couple of minutes for a game that. goes to the pocket, he's given Lowe a chance and we've got to say pinpoint accuracy because he finds Lowe about half a metre inside the line. It was a perfectly weighted pass wasn't it Bruce from Devonport but Lowe on a very tight angle, tough to kick goals from that pocket with the wind blowing the way it is today. Well it will take an exceptional kick from here, magnificent mark Lowe, there's no question about that, drop punt, he's kicked it across the face of the square, big pack. Atkins, Fletcher got rid of him, Pekin, Kellett with him now, Atkins, quick kick away to half back. Now one on one here, Grant and Grant. Grant. Who was it, Bernie? Grant Certainly was Grant. Grant, wasn't it? At half back for Footscray, it's cleared away by Kellett. Back to again a one on one, Coleman punched away by Morris. Chance for Chris Grant, sweeping hand pass, Atkins, the ball not good for Atkins. He goes after it again. Good play by Fletcher to get in there and make it a good contest. St Kilda get it clear. Flanagan decides on the long bomb. The drop punt kick towards centre half forward. Marking contest. At the fall of the ball is Stephen Clark. The bounce is not kind. That could have nearly been a free kick. Again to Devonport. The play goes on. Tell it. Oh, pushed off the footy. Harvey. Good vision. Short pass again. The uh, angle is going to be difficult for Devonport. He's kicking from much the same position as Lowe. Just it, a few moments ago. It's still a very tough kick there, as I said, because the wind is blowing across the goal face and bringing the ball back into the field of play. But Footscray are off and running. Had that hand pass been OK from Chris Grant to uh, Simon Atkins, Robbo? Had an open field in front of them. The Footscray reserves kicked 37 goals in the earlier game. Devonport's kick. There's the first score. It's a behind us at Kilda. A rush behind in the finish. St Kilda have had much the better of the forward plays in the first five or six minutes. The man with the black gloves to bring it back in. He's got the biggest job in football, standing Tony Lockett. Straight down the centre, Campbell. Foster, Wine set themselves, Flanagan at the back. Here's Wallace. Third kick, Colin Newk and Dwyer. Dwyer was a good player last week, and so was Colin Newk. Goes short. Hawkins a target, Burke, Fletcher, good take, and Burke backed up, and Hawkins tackled, put him off. McPherson and Dwyer and Harvey out of play. No fireworks yet, Bernie. It's been tame, hasn't it, the first four or five minutes? Yeah, it's pretty quiet so far, Bruce. And uh, such an important match here at the Western Oval, almost a capacity crowd. Wine Flanagan, Atkins gets involved, so does Fletcher. Collinick gets hold of him and takes him. 
Fletcher tries to get rid of it, and it'll be a bounce down. He's a, he's a good possession gatherer, uh, Fletcher, for St Kilda. But he just seems as though he's still in Tasmania, playing at the pace that uh, the football may have been played at before he ever went to Geelong. Coughlin. Now a chance for McPherson. That kick's not bad. And Hawkins takes a great diving mark on the 50-metre line. Just may have taken the wind out of his sails a little bit. But Dougie Hawkins would be half a chance. He played a great game last week, didn't he? In oh, he was fantastic. In attack and then a loose man in defence when Footscray were kicking against the wind. You know, um, that loose man in defence role appears to everyone to be such a soda, but you really have to be able to read the play. And an experienced campaigner like Dougie Hawkins did it very, very well. He's gone for the short pass, and it's all right. He finds Grant in front of Grant. This is Chris Grant, of course, the St Kilda player, David Grant. Very good defender for St Kilda, but Grant for Footscray has the ball. And this is certainly within kicking distance. It's a good matchup, this one, because David Grant, of course, uh, made the AFL Team of the Year last season. And Chris Grant, one of the most promising players around. Wouldn't be happy with that kick, Bernie. No, he looked a little bit croppy on the way in, didn't he? On that, uh, his approach wasn't all that good, Robbo. So Chris Grant has kicked the behind. St Kilda have rushed to behind and they are the scores right now as Michael Ford will kick in for St Kilda playing against his old side Charles at the back good mark give you a chance to make the distance with the breeze the way it is 52 53 metres out it's a big kick but he has hooked it and, uh, no doubt about the distance Bernie but not accurate so behind the second one in uh, 30 seconds from the set shot for Foots Gray and they're two points and St Kilda a point. And not really making the most of their chances in this early stage of the game. Kicking with the wind, they really had to get off on the right foot, Robbo. What do you think the advantage is, Bernie, at that left-hand end? But certainly, watching the seconds, it was a fairly, fairly, well, noticeable advantage coming out of the middle. The ball was travelling a lot further down towards the uh, Barclay Street end of the ground. Free kick uh, for holding the ball against Burke to Hawkins. And this man with his skills, he's looking to go for a short one, then runs around and kicks it uh, for a goal. Well, that surprises me. First goal for Footscray, 1-2 to a point. Oh, and sorry, Bruce, but looking from our angle, it surprised me a lot too because that definitely looked as if it travelled the left-hand side of the goalpost. And we were right behind that kick from where we were, our angle. The goal umpire didn't appear to move right behind the post to get a good look at it. He stayed in the middle of the goal, so... Well, I suppose he's in the better position, but uh, it definitely did look a, a behind from this spot. I think Michael Ford had something to say to Dougie Hawkins, and all he got was a, a wry smile right across Hawkins' face. Back in the centre, Wine gets the tap down. Chance for Liberatore. Now Atkins getting from Colonu. The kick towards full forward. Punched away by Burke. Ford is under pressure. Away to David Grant. Throws is the umpire. Ford not delivering that ball properly, so the free kick will go to Ballantyne. And Footscray a chance to kick their second goal. Well, normally you'd uh, put this down for a goal from Johnny Ballantyne. A beautiful kick of the football. Uh, Michael Ford playing his 99th game today. AFL game. Played 97 with Footscray. And second game for St Kilda today. Ballantyne's only 30 metres out. Oh, distance is not a problem. And he's kicked it inaccurately. Oh. Well, two bad misses because they were easy shots. Chris Grant's and also John Ballantyne's. They're the ones that you really need to make the most of early in the match. Yes, you can certainly put the opposition on the back foot. Forward to half-back. Morris was his target. Coleman through his legs. Now Greg sweeps a handle to Pekin. One of the most consistent in St Kilda last year. Up to centre-half forward. Winmar read it beautifully. Oh, great skill. Going all the way, Winmar, to the square. Front spot, Devonport. Play on call. Yeah, good decision. It did hit the ground. Rowan Smith playing only his second game of uh, senior football. A tough job on Craig Devonport. Lockett there. Winds back for uh, Footscray. Gets rid of Lockett, which is pretty hard to do. And concedes are behind. But that would be a good result from there for... Footscray, they're at one three to two points, and Campbell to bang it back in. 
Tony Campbell, who a couple of seasons ago had two magnificent scalps in successive weeks on his belt in the form of Jason Dunstall when he was playing with Melbourne. And we've already mentioned what a job he's got in front of him this afternoon, but so far, the Footscray players have been able to hold up the St Kilda supply to lock it. And right now, Wallace has the free kick at half back. He kicks it in towards the centre. High flyer, Grant. Clean mark. Magnificent stuff. He's great overhead, isn't he, Robert? My word. He's one a very, the... very good player, David yeah. Grant. One of the best high marks in the business. Short pass goes wide to Morris, who's run away from Coleman. Coleman minding the mark all right, forces Morris to go back and kick over the top of the man on the mark. So it just holds up play importantly for the defenders. Up towards half forward, Wine gets back, low, handball away, Devonport, quick hands, chance for Coughlin, he'll run into an open goal, and kicks the goal, no, hits the post. Gee, I thought the way Frankie Coughlin ran away then that it got through before it hit that post, but uh, his uh, banana kick slew him very quickly. I don't think he needed the banana kick there, Robber. Could have normal run kick up to the goal line, okay. couldn't he, Bernie? Yep. Nine to three. So an accuracy of both ends as Campbell goes again. Foster and Winder his targets. Oh, good mark, Wine. He's a good player, Bruce. He's one of the more improved big men in the game over the last year or so. Had a good game last week in Adelaide also. He did so too. He was the runner-up out here in the uh, best and fairest last season. Centre wing. Not really giving Coleman a chance there, though. He was always behind Morris. Talk about Coleman resurrecting his career. Well, Morris has had a change of fortune too. All that success at Hawthorne as a forward. Kicks it straight back to Foster and Wine. Take your pick. So low, not in position there. Now Foster bangs it back. So some high balls from one end to the other. Coleman, Charles, Ford. They all miss it. Ford's handball to Harvey OK. Now some movement from centre wing. Harvey stops and props though. It's all slow motion for a moment. Now Greg into the space. Not a bad kick. Clark, Wallace at the back did it very well. Here, Smith is a lightly tight, runs it out. He'll be happy with that. You know, it's interesting, Bruce, you mentioned about Lowe being out of position when Foster took the mark. Morris kicked it straight to three Footscray players. Lowe had made position at right half forward. It's amazing. The forwards always lamenting when the ball's kicked to their opposition. St Kilda have it at right half forward. Smith trying to get the ball clear. Winmar can't get past it. Eventually, well, I don't know how he got through there, but he did. Lock it. He's got it. Too big, too strong. And the big body, certainly an advantage there. The big, strong body. Well, Tony Campbell always in trouble there. Being in the front position there, he was at a disadvantage because Tony Lockett was just able to hold his spot and then at the last moment just go back and take a, a very easy mark by his standards. So Lockett, very good chance now to kick his first goal for the afternoon. Kicked seven last week. He's now kicked eight for the season. Scores a level. One three apiece. Yes, uh, the magic of Winmar setting that one up. He's racing around the boundary line there. He had 29 possessions last week against uh, Essendon. A great performance. Very dangerous player. And Tony Lock would be pleased to see him when he has the ball when he uh, is on the end of one of his passes. Scores level at the Western Oval, halfway through the opening term. Lockett, uh, the goal scorer for St Kilda. Greg out of the centre. It's a wide open space. Corcoran after. Stays in play. Gets around Fletcher. Not a good kick. Charles tries to half volley. Harvey goes. Play on call. Charles. Straight back to Harvey. Caught again, Harvey. Good tackle. Liberatore to Atkins sideways laterally. Atkins caught. Off the ground by Greg. Centre wing, Clark and Wallace. Corcoran and Harvey. Well played, Harvey. To Greg to Winmar. Not a good handle, though. Still Winmar. Handle goes back inside as a wrestle on by behind play. Winmar gets a second shot at it. Low in the front spot. Foster at the back now. Over the top of it uh, was Allen. And a chance from McPherson, and he kicks the ball into the centre. Terrific defensive work there by Footscray, but it's going to break down right in the centre. Morris may even have a shot for goal. He kicks it low and high. Chance for Lockett again. Oh, he just got his foot to it, but not effective. Campbell mops up for Footscray. 
kicks it long and high to the outer half-back flank area. Kellett can't mark. And I'm sure there's some screams for a free kick. Bit of heavy work going on behind the play there. That tackle from Scotty Wine. A fair, fair enough tackle on Tony Lockett. And, and uh, Lockett really made sure that he made his presence felt on uh, big Scotty Wine. Big strong boy is Wine. Chance here now for Footscray. Wallace, no, leaves it for Liberatore. Peeking behind. Gathers. Atkins. Always oh, caught with the footy. Footscray harassing brilliantly. Atkins off the ground. Coleman kicks it very ordinarily, allows Ford the chance. Ford from half-back, kicks it to the half-forward line. Pekin, creative handball. Clark, Winmar will kick a goal. Winmar's long kick will bounce through. Great goal by St Kilda. So St Kilda's second goal gives them a six-point advantage with 11 and a half minutes left. Yes, and a very good advantage at this stage of the game too, kicking into the breeze. A brilliant win, Mark, getting away there from his tagger for the afternoon. That's Darren Baxter. A poor kick from Glenn Coleman, really setting it up for uh, the St Kilda forwards, allowing Michael Ford to break clear. So the two superstars have kicked the goals for St Kilda, Winmar and Lockett. Wine wins it. Liberatore and Atkins uh, run into one another. Off the ground, Atkins. David Grant in front of Chris Grant. It's half back line doing well for uh, St Kilda. Devonport looks for a free kick. Play on call. Now Greg. He's had a couple of touches in the centre square where it's been pretty hot. He's kicked a half forward. Corkman against the run. Showed some courage there. Baxter and uh, Winmar together. Free kick going to Fitzgerald to Corcoran. So why are the fans not happy out there? Is it two he's going to get? It's two. Well, you'd expect that from that side of the ground, wouldn't you, Robbo? My word. That'd be full of some good Well, supporters. that's what footy's about, isn't yep. it, Bernie? Terrific stuff. The fans come all the way out here to watch their team play. Handball to Atkins eventually after uh, Coleman got it from the scrimmage to full four. Oh, Graham Hawkins will go. Dougie doesn't miss those. To the Hawkins. Scores a level again. Two, three apiece. Brilliant play by Dougie Hawkins. A magnificent player last week. I thought he was best on the ground against Adelaide. And he kicked three goals in that opening quarter. And now he's kicked two goals in the opening quarter here against St Kilda. And only one thing I was put on, Bernie, he wouldn't take that mouth guard out when he was being interviewed <laughs> by Max Stevens at the end of the game. But when he did take it out, it didn't look all that good, did it, <laughs> oh, yeah. What a character. Scores level with 10 minutes left. Wine gets the tap down. Coughlin goes underneath. And Wine's tackle was a little too high in the finish. Hand pass is good. Greg, Bruce has mentioned, being very productive so far. Kick towards half forward, low from behind. Gets down to recover pretty quickly, but can't control the footy at ground level. Back, uh, Wallace. Corcoran in the action. And the umpire is forced to bounce at right half forward for St Kilda. Players today, David Howlett and Hayden Kennedy. And a big job they've got on their hands because both of these sides, having won their first matches last week, keen to maintain an unbeaten record. Liberatore, good vision. Atkins, intelligent. Corcoran's got someone inside. No, couldn't get it to Tui. Flanagan, Cotlin for St Kilda. Short kick, Allen. The kick was touched. Play on. McPherson. Oh, what a brilliant take between two very strong players, Winmar and McPherson. The umpire saw it as a free kick to Footscray. The advantage rule was paid. It's up to the wing where Atkins can he control the football. A little kick off the ground was good. Centre half forward Hawkins. Colonu. And again a good clash. Burke kicks it back to the centre. The mark is taken by Liberatore. Plays on quickly to Charles. He's got some space. Sells a dummy. Short one's good to Valentino, well played Crawley. Now Greg swings it wide. One Footscray player against the tide there. Atkins, well done. Coleman, a good take under pressure. And the handball, good to the Liberatore. A high one. Looking for uh, Grant. The two Grants together. Tap forward again by Charles. Gee, it's willing. Colin it there. Dwyer mops up. Under pressure, kicks it out on the full. 
McPherson to take it from half forward. Too far out, you'd think they'll go short again. Ballantyne run underneath it. No free kick, here's Ford defending. Straight back to Corcoran. Can take his time and bang it back effectively now. Coleman the target he finds, a well played Corcoran. I thought he did very well uh, when he came off the bench last week, replacing young Rowan Smith, who perhaps looked a little overawed with his first match, Bernie. He, yes, he has got a lot of pace shown in Corcoran, and that's something Footscray haven't had in the side. Two players in Corcoran and Callot have added that little bit of extra ingredient that they didn't have. Well, this will test Coleman. It's going to take a good kick. He's got the breeze behind him. He'll kick from about 51, 52. Drop punt. He's timed it beautifully. Kicked it strongly in his goal. But he passed the test with flying colours. And the Bulldogs in front by a goal. That's a low boy. A great goal for Coleman, wasn't it? Right? Galaxy. A great goal. What a fantastic effort. Yes, no, he's, he's certainly improved in that area. His kicking used to be uh, atrocious, putting it bluntly, in the early days of football, but he didn't have a football background coming from Sydney. It's an area of uh, his game that he has worked on. And now he's fairly reliable uh, in front of goal. Is it any Quinlan influence on his kicking? Oh, I don't want to cut myself on the back row. <laughs> Bounce back in the centre. Footscray lead by a goal. Chance for Harvey. Off the left foot, Robert Harvey goes towards half forward. Peacon can't quite get there. Smith comes out strongly. No free kick. Smith tries to tap it on to Keller. It's successful. And Keller kicks it long. Who's read it best? Danny Crawley's read it best. He comes out, marks on his chest at half back. Hand passes away. Chance now for Morris, who's run across centre half back. First bounce, second one tap on the ground. Kicks it wide towards the wing. Punched away from Greg by Corcoran. Good play by Charles. Well done. Big fella. Can't quite control the footy. But he gained about 10 or 12 metres. And will have a boundary throw in left half forward for the Bulldogs. They lead by a goal. 3-3 three, three to 2-3. Two, three. We feel there is a wind advantage to the left of the screen. The end of which Footscray are going in this first quarter. Libertore, the hero of Western Oval. Hooks the kick, not bad. The square, Mark Hawkins. Yeah, yeah, Tony Hawkins. And what a player is that play from uh, Tony Lucatore. Away, he was at the bottom of the pack. He just doesn't know when to stop. He just fought on. He looked as if he was hopelessly outnumbered. And that's the way Tony Lucatore approaches his football. And already Charles and Baxter have made efforts to get to Lucatore to congratulate him as Hawkins kicks his third goal. Three goals to Hawkins, one goal to Coleman. St Kilda's goals through Lockett and Winmar. And Footscray lead by 12 points. Yes, well, that was a magnificent effort, as I said. Little Tony Lipitore. He never knows when to stop trying. It's just 100% all the time. Flat out, it's the only way he knows. And to get that to Hawkins the way he did, it's brilliant football. Well, St Kilda look as though they've made a change. Uh, Devonport back on uh, Hawkins. Bernie. Yes, Devon caught back there and Burke going to the forward line to be picked up by Smith. 27 to 15. Morris and Coleman. Free kick to Morris. Goes straight down the centre. You'd imagine Lowe would be the target. Free kick against Lowe. Didn't quite get to him. Allen took the mark, but Foster being hurled takes the free kick. So Foster's shut low out early, high drop punt, Charles underneath it, Coleman at the back, here's an opportunity from 50, torpedo punt, Hawkins sets himself with Devonport, and out of play in the pocket. Well, Dougie, who began his career in 78, captain for the last three years and uh, club champion in 1985. I think if Footscray can protect him, he could nearly get to 300 if he plays in that forward pocket. Devonport getting clear of the back pocket. No one home out there for St Kilda. Really hard stuff at the footy by Kellett. Attacked by Pekin. Atkins and Harvey gets through both. Now Harvey again. Sweeping hand pass is not bad because it went over Pekin's head. Gave him the chance to run onto it. Pekin's handball over the top. Harvey I tried it off the ground. Gathered it nicely, then gave it to Pekin. Still play goes on. The handball to Morris. He gets around Atkins. The short kick in towards the centre. They've given away ground, but they have possession of the footy. 
Greg looking for the hand pass over the top. Coughlin back to Greg. Greg into the forward line. More direct there, but it comes unstuck because Foster read that ball beautifully and marked safely behind Tony Lockett. Drop punt, the familiar sight. Charles won't quite get to it. Fletcher took the mark. And then goes short to Harvey. He's had a very good first quarter. Lots of touches, as you'd expect from him. Winmar, Wine, now Clark. Back to Greg. Still 55 metres out. Gets around, goes sideways again. Goes back to Fletcher. Just too far out, you'd think. Lock it in the square with his back to the footy. Greg's had some touches too. He's played well. Short, now lows the target. Foster goes with him, does it very well. Peek it in the pocket, left foot snap. Lock it with a chance. Still lock it. Snap shot by Lock it. Misses. It's a behind. So a point to Big Tony. 1-1 one, one for him and St Kilda up to 2-4 to 4-3. They're getting back to assist uh, Tony Campbell. Peter Foster getting back there. Also Scotty Wine. So they're not making it easy for Tony Lockett. Well, that's the key, isn't it? Really, yes. uh, you must chop the supply off, and whatever supply he does get, if they're harassed, well, they'll come up awkwardly. Atkins does well for Footscray near the centre. Oh, great play, Grant. Oh, magnificent pass. Here's a goal. Absolute certainty, Colin Newt. Brilliant football by Footscray. The take by Grant Burney. It's as good a take as you'd want to see. Yes, he's a very accomplished player, Chris Grant. And the left foot pass is as good oh, as you've ever seen also. Yep. And Dougie Hawkins, great thinking by Dougie Hawkins. He could have gone back and had a shot, but he didn't waste any time. Got that hand pass on quickly to Steve Collinuk. Delivered it perfectly with a long, looping hand pass. And Collinuk from only about 25 metres out, no mistake. Thirty-three to sixteen at the Western Oval, and suddenly Footscray, with a wriggle on, have taken advantage of the breeze. Hawkins has had a magnificent first quarter. Liberatore took it from Wine. Pax's kick was smothered. Pekin now holds it up. Kellett scoops it and throws it to Corkman. The boys St Kilda have made a change. Fletcher's off the ground, and Newport is on the ground, and went immediately to pick up Atkins. I felt. So, actually, Rob, I didn't think Fletcher was going all that bad. I thought he was doing no, a reasonable job. but I job. think that they're probably a bit careful of Atkins. He's starting to create a bit. Had four and three Fletcher, seven touches. But Atkins has had seven and one. Free kick to Flanagan. Yeah, fair enough. From centre wing quickly to Pekin. There's some space here. If it'll sit up for him, it takes a while to do that. Now Pekin from the pocket. Low the target. And Big Stewie takes the mark. Is that his first? I think it is. Or second mark. Second mark for Lowe. Oh, 50 metre penalty. penalty. Well, Stewie Lowe was doing umpiring as well. He was telling uh, Peter Foster to get back on the mark. But you don't often see that burning. Yeah, I mean, this is such a critical... He's d directly in front, he gives away a goal. And he puts it through. Well, I don't know whether I really agree with that. Well, if the umpire tells the player on the mark to go back, and he doesn't do it, Fair enough. But, well, look um, at Foster. I mean, it's the ultimate penalty, isn't it? Oh, certainly. Lowe it's was going to struggle from where he was. All of a sudden, he's directly in front and can't miss. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Stewie Lowe, of course, was doing a bit of directing him himself after he took that mark, telling Foster to get back. And uh, maybe he just sucked the umpire in. Well, they've lost the footy. Someone up there at that uh, top end of the ground has confiscated the football. $120 down the gurgler for Footscray. Footscray lead by 11 points, 33 to 22. No free kick. They get the ball to centre half forward. Liberatore, a little slow, but got the handball away. Maybe a little awkward for Baxter. He did well to hold it in. Liberatore after it again. Jeez, a little tiger. McPherson punched away. Harvey creative as ever. Somehow found some space. A little bit too confident though. Went for the hand pass, luckily got away with it. Morris away towards Pekin, but the boundary line is the safety there for St Kilda at left half back. Just under a minute and a half left, so St Kilda would do well to bottle Footscray up in the remaining 70 seconds. Now Pekin, Grant, that's uh, Chris Grant and David Grant with him. 
still with Chris Grant. Kick round the body, keeps it in play. Devonport has been given the job now on Hawkins. Liberatore gets hold of him, Morris. And I think he'd be pretty happy to see it run out of play. So inside the last minute, entertaining opening term. Hawkins, the big star with three. And they're giving a cracking handball away to Colin Hugh, who kicked the fifth goal for Footscray. Atkins goes backwards, but can't quite weave it through the pack. Flanagan held it up. Liberatore gets his hands on it, gets it to Atkins. And Atkins arrest over the boundary line. And they're going to throw it. So maybe one last chance here for Footscray in the last 30 seconds to get a clean possession and have a crack at the goal. Greg at the back, goes straight out of play. It's had nine kicks, Greg, in the opening turn. So we're down to 15 seconds now. It's ticking away. And you'd fancy that at quarter time it'll be 33 to 22. Greg over the back, a well play to Morris. Morris steadies, high drop punt. Corcoran should take it with a siren or go. 80 metres out, 75 to 80 metres out. Kicked it pretty well, the torpedo punt. He's kicked it about to 65, but Flanagan marks it. It's quarter time. Footscray lead. 5-3-33 to secure the 3-4-22.